Hello, my Esperholic. So before we begin, um, I wanted to talk about something that I noticed was cut off again from the editing. So basically, I feel like firebending is plot bending, where basically the only time people ever get hurt, both in The Legend of Korra and um, Avatar Best Airbender, when it comes to fire, is to further the plot. Aang is a jackass and burns Katara, that's part of the plot. Zuko getting his face burned, that's part of the plot. Aang getting burned when he fights Zhao, that's part of the plot. But every other fight scene using the fire, no one actually gets burned and no one actually gets hurt. Again, the part with Ozai, Aang getting burned, that's part of the plot. It's part of the, of the you know, um, um, fight, whatever. So yeah, firebending is not that dangerous. And then, um, bloodbending is a huge missed opportunity. Bloodbending could have been the avatar equivalent of a taser, where I would say there's a criminal escaping in Korra's time. Use the bloodbending to then lock the person's limbs in place, and there you go, you catch them. Similar to how you, you can use a taser to knock somebody out. So again, it's really not that bad. It's just Avatar making everything look very black and white. And the next thing I want to talk about really quick is the reason why I split these videos up. It's because Unlocking Fire takes place in the beginning of the chapter. Airbending, unlocking that, takes place from the end of the chapter. And that's why I thought it would, it would be appropriate to split them up. Okay, so anyway, um, with that out of the way, we can now continue chapter 5. With the Avatar! <laughs> Screw you guys! If it wasn't for the Avatar, they'd all be dead. Korra saved the world multiple times. Douchebags. Anyway, hello, Esperholics, and welcome back to the next episode of The Legend Think of Korra. Stop me? Think again. And, um, as you can see, I've upgraded the elements quite a bit playing this off screen. And, um. Damn it, hang on. Uh. I lost some of the footage uh, that I had originally for this video already so I had to play it off screen and try to recapture everything and that's why uh, I'm doing this. So anyway, um, yeah, the cheap blockers are douchebags. If it wasn't for Korra, people would have been dead. Like, she's saving everyone's life. No ordinary vendor can take on the Avatar. I'm the closest thing this world has to a god. Freaking idiots, you can't kill the Avatar with chi walkers. I am the best. I am the Avatar. Bitch. Seriously. Like, Korra, the, you know, being the Avatar is a ridiculously awesome and cool concept from Hinduism, by the way. I looked it up. And uh, the Avatar is basically a human, or rather a spiritual being that comes to Earth in a human form in an attempt to help better humanity. And, um, and they also, you know, reincarnate. So yeah, that's basically uh, the Avatar. Okay, so I am going to try to do this as fast as I can so we can then just go unlock airbending. I had to do all this again off screen. Um, well, not off screen, but I had to do this all over again because I lost the original footage I recorded for uh, today. I accidentally deleted it thinking I didn't need it anymore, um, but yeah, I do. So that sucks. Oh my god, Cora, get up! Okay, I pressed the block button. Game just being a douchebag. That's all. I like that she does a backflip. That's kind of cool. I pressed the block button. Fucking game. But yeah, um, this game does get a little tedious sometimes, uh, especially with the bosses like this. But um, I pressed the block button. I don't know what the fuck. But yeah, so this game is fun and all, but oh my god, does it get tedious. Damn it, never, there goes my chance. Come on. Cora, oh my god, do the fucking kick in the air. I can get in a lot of hits. And of course she doesn't. Okay, but he, he'll, he'll be done soon. He'll be done soon.
And there goes my combo. Okay. Okay, we, we almost got him, but yeah. Uh, oh boy, do I have a lot to say when I review this game. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely gonna make a review for this. Oh my god, Korg, get the fuck off. Okay, okay, come on. Okay, we're almost there at the spirit portal, which is where you'll unlock airbending. Which I suppose is fitting, considering it's, you know, airbending. But oh my god. Does this game get tedious at times? Okay. So yeah, look, he's almost dead. So there we go. Oh my god, Cora, get the fuck up. Jeez. You know, if you look at the extremely round body of the robot, it looks pretty much like a gunman from Gurren Lagann. Just put on the glasses and put a face on the chest and you got Gurren Lagann. Do the impossible, see the invisible. Bro, bro, fight the power! Stick to earthbending. I don't know. Come on. Okay. Almost done. There we go. Yeah, but I always have to button mash. I rely on my pointer finger a lot. There we go. Okay, there we go. Almost got him. Almost got him. Almost got him. Can I try to approach? See if I can approach. Almost got him. Just wish Earth Bending had faster animations. Just a little bit faster. Not, not that much. Not that much. Okay, go get the fuck up. Get up. Okay. Almost got him. Okay. Okay. Probably could use water bending for this. All things considered. There we go. Long range attack for the win. Ah, that's neat. I never saw the water bending version of that because I always use the earth bending version. Nice. Okay. And now we got to do this part. Freaking. All right, bro. Let's get to the portal. Freaking giant. Mechas. Mechas of doom. You'll see, you'll see. Oh god. Go Naga! Naga! There we go, got fire unlocked. Okay. Naga, get down! There we go. Jump. So yeah, um... I feel like I've, you know, I've gotten a, I would say a bit better. Fuck, I need those, those purple spirit orbs. Oh my god, no! Poor Naga. I thought I could jump up there, because they had the purple, um, Time to get pur the purple fire, but whatever. Purple spirit fire. Fuck. Naga, I don't like her getting hurt. Doggy doggy. Poor bear doggy. There we go. There we go. How in the world did that bridge support Naga's weight is beyond me. Okay. There we go. Okay. Okay, good. Good. I've been trying to get more spear energy so I can just, you know. That sucks, I didn't get the uh, fire that I wanted to get, spear fire. Okay. I'm doing a lot better this time at least. Probably because, again, I uh, did this already. Oh, that was, that, that's, that's too tricky. Fuck! Okay, there we go. Surprise pitfall, that's what that is. Okay. Yeah, I probably could have just torn through the rocks myself, but I don't know. Naga! There we go, I need, I need the purple spirit fire. I've been wanting to upgrade uh, Korra. Oh my god, I didn't get the fire, oh well. Come on. Okay. 
There we go. Okay. Fuck. Poor, uh, gotta protect her doggy. There we go. Okay. Okay. Almost there. But yeah, um, I just think these just get- oh fuck! They just, they just get easier when you practice, that's all. There we go, got a gold medal for that, nice. Okay. And then we're gonna go to Spirit Portal and unlock Airbending, and then we'll finally be done with this chapter. Naga! I must smash everything for Naga so she doesn't get hurt. But yeah, her body proportions are so off. Like, it doesn't look like her back leg to be able to support her giant bear paws. So, in my opinion, what they should have done. What they should have done is uh, make the front, the, the legs like a dog, and then the body of a bear, and then the head of a bear, and then, um, you know, the ears of a dog. Fuck! Poor Naga. But yeah, I feel like she should have had the paws of a dog, body of a bear, head of a bear, and then ears of a dog, and then tail of a dog. So that way, you know, it, it kind of just balances out. Fuck, I'm so sorry, Naga. Yeah, protect my doggy. Okay. But yeah. Ooh, I need the spirit fire. Okay. 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 Yeah, this is not that bad when you um, just, you know, get the attack pattern down. I'm already almost done killing one of them, so that's good. So yeah, this is not that bad when you get used to the pattern. One down, two more there we go. Oh, I thought it was gonna let me just attack the other one, you know? No! Oh my god. I was almost done with that. Okay. Oh my god. Poor Naga. I need to protect my doggy. Come on, Naga. Almost got that one. Fuck, are you serious? Come on. Okay. Just attack relentlessly. Okay, here we go. There we go. Come on. Okay. I find it best to take small jumps. So that way you can, um, you know, have, I guess, a better idea of, you know, dodging. I don't know. Can't really talk right now. Okay. Okay. And I think they're both almost dead, so that's good. Yeah, they're almost dead. Yep, there we go. Come on. Come on, there we go. So yeah, that one's actually not that bad. You just gotta be relentless, like a firebender. Naga. But yeah, I just do not like her body proportions. I think, in all honesty, um, 
should have had front waves of the legs of a dog, body of a bear, head of a bear, ears of a dog, and then tail of a dog, I guess. I don't know. It's just, uh, the proportions are just really, really off to me, you know. Stop laughing, it's annoying. Yeah, probably a mistake. Fire bending, go! Time to kick, kick some ass. And of course, the freaking Super Saiyan Triad is, is back. Why won't they go away? Leave me alone. Oh my god, fuck all of you. I'm going to kill all of you and your friends. And they will all face the wrath of the Avatar. I will kill all of you. Welcome to die. That's what this is. That's what this situation is. For those of you who don't get what I'm referencing, um, there was this really, really obscure X-Men arcade. And um, the arcade game um, had a really weird dub where Magneto would say, Welcome to die! It was freaking hilarious. Oh my god, fuck all of you. Fuck all of you. Oh, okay, you know what? No, no, no. Fuck all of you. No. Suck on my water bending, you piece of shit. I will kill you and your friends, and I will make you watch as you are helpless, unable to save them. You piece of shit. So, no. Yeah. Suck on the earth bending, it is unblockable. Earth bending cannot be sucked. Like your stupid effing desires. They are worthless, and I will freaking kill you for them. I love firebending. There we go. It's a stopper. It's weird. I will set you on fire and kill you. Good. Okay. And Janora, oh god. Janora, I know. Do not, do not say no. Remember your airbending training in the spinning gate. Yes, from season one. Yes. You're right. If I can avoid enough of their attacks, maybe I'll remember. But, but I've already been doing that. Oh my god, Janora. Fuck you. I hate you, Janora. Why are you like freaking Omo Chow? I hate you. Stop being like Omo Chow. Riveting gameplay. I'm already dodging their attacks. Like, seriously. What the hell? I think it's starting to work. A little more. Okay. Almost there. Almost there. I'm really close now. Indeed. This is like the easiest one to unlock. Firebending at fucking hell, firebending. Focus. I can do this. It's pain in the ass. There we go. Yes! I got it! Summon the power of Aang. Pretty much the power of Aang. Do 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 Aang. Yep. Why did you go woo? Don't go woo. Wing woo is weird. Damn it. Yeah, airbending, oh my god, so kick ass. Uh, it's airbending. Look at that. Airbending, I would say it's practically broken. Like, it is so fast. Oh my god. So fast. I love how she looks like she's basically breakdancing. She does airbending. It's really cool. Oh my god. And that's only level 2 airbending. So it is so freaking broken. I love it. Oh, uh, that's neat. She propels herself forward what, 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 like a torpedo or a bullet. That's nice. Now Korra is finally a fully realized avatar. All that is left is 
for Korra to finally unlock the Chakra path for the Avatar Stone. And for those of you who don't really know what I'm talking about, um, an Avatar Chi is a general term for just Spirit Energy. Chakra is specifically the pools of Spirit Energy that are connected by a stream, and each pool of energy is for um, the element. And if you open the pads between the pools, you then have the chakra flow, which enables a connection for all the elements. Oh, I can purify a spirit now. Let me do it. Like in season two. Let me purify the spirit. Okay, then fine. Let me purify the spirit. Freaking game. I want me purified. Okay, th th this is a cutscene. I can tell it's a cutscene. Let me. Yeah, so it's gonna be one of those where I have to fight a bunch of enemies, get overwhelmed, and then the cutscene triggers. Give me my fire button. I love the uh, the rocket, the firebending rocket. Or it's called the uh, fire dash, I think. But yeah, whatever. I don't care. Uh, oh no, too many spirits. Can't beat these things without my spirit bending. Oh no. <sighs> okay. So with that, we have beaten chapter- Oh, screw you guys giving me bronze, whatever. We have beaten chapter 5, and then finally the next chapter will be chapter 6. So, that's good. So this- so chapter 6 will be the first time we've unlocked all elements, or it will be the first level we get to play with all the elements, so that'll be cool. Oh, I got Appa. That's nice. Like, I, like, I like the Appa plushie. Or Air Bison, Sky Bison plushie. Anyway, um... Okay, yeah, that's, that's great. Okay, so... With that, we are done with this chapter, and I hope you all enjoyed. And I will see you all next time. Bye. Or, yeah. Bye.